Are you or someone you know struggling with excessive thirst, heart palpitations, weakness and fatigue, abdominal cramping, or muscle twitching? Then you may be suffering from hypokalemia. Okay. To help with the hypokalemia, I'm going to be showing you how to make a smoothie with high potassium rich foods. Our first ingredient is spinach, then an orange, potassium fruit blend, and this one includes bananas, oranges, pineapple, mango, and sweet potato, an avocado, oh, oh my. and coconut water. Before we reveal the final product, let me tell you a couple facts about potassium. Potassium is the third most abundant mineral in the body. It's a type of electrolyte that your body needs to be able to function properly. It's highly reactive in water, and so when it's dissolved in water, it creates positive charged ions. Your body uses this electricity to help with nerve function, fluid balance, and muscle contractions. About 98% of potassium in your body is found in your cells. Most of this is found in your muscle cells, but it can also be found in your organs, bones, and red blood cells. Potassium was discovered by Sir Humphrey Davy in England in 1807. He used electricity to separate the element from the salt potash. The abbreviation is K, and that comes from the Latin word calium. A potassium-rich diet is linked to many health benefits. It can offset some of sodium's harmful effects on blood pressure, and it can also help prevent against stroke, osteoporosis, and kidney stones. The first thing that potassium does for the body is fluid balance. Potassium is the main electrolyte in the intracellular fluid, so it's going to determine the amount of water that's going to be inside the cells. So if you eat a potassium-rich diet and you stay hydrated, you'll maintain good fluid balance. Potassium also works in the nervous system. Nerve impulses are generated by sodium ions moving into the cells and then potassium ions moving out of the cells. So if you have a drop in your blood levels of potassium, they can greatly affect the body's ability to generate a new nerve impulse. So you have to get enough potassium from your diet to help maintain good, healthy nerve function. Potassium also regulates muscle and heart contractions. Just like I've previously stated, an altered blood potassium level can affect nerve signals and can lead to a weakened muscle contraction, and it can also affect the heartbeat. So if your heart isn't beating properly, then it can't pump enough blood to your brain, organs, and muscles. When you have too much potassium in your blood, it's known as hyperkalemia. Symptoms of hyperkalemia can be known as muscle fatigue, weakness, abnormal heart rhythms, paralysis, and nausea. Having too little potassium in your blood is known as hypokalemia, just like my friend had in the beginning of the video. A way to decrease your potassium is you can leach your vegetables so that involves peeling and putting them in cold water so they don't darken. You leave them and soak them in warm water for about two hours, and then you're going to cook your vegetables in more water than the amount of vegetables that you have. This will reduce the amount of potassium in some vegetables. Another way to decrease your potassium levels in your body is by sodium bicarbonate. It temporarily shifts potassium into cells. Try this potassium rich smoothie I made. Oh, wow. Mmm. Tastes like potassium. I feel so much better.